Hello, hello, hello. I first just want to welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome kings as well as queens because there may be some kings that watch this video. But today is the first day of the beginning of a new podcast. What's that podcast called, Unique? Queen's Table. Queen's Table. I'm Kawana and I'm Unique. And we are here today, y'all. We want to bless y'all, okay? We just want to pour some some love on y'all today okay the topic is first it's queen's table intimate conversations right and so the intimate conversation that we're having today unique we're going to be talking about who's faithful now i'm sure you can think in your mind you can just think about the faithful people in your life we all have someone faithful in our life. Who's faithful in your life, you need? God. God? Mm -hmm. I'll agree. I will agree. I'll attest to that. I, I'll attest to number two, number three. <laughs> God is faithful, y'all. He is the faithful one. I mean, yes, your parents can be faithful. Your grandparents can be faithful. Uh, you know, good, you know, home, home girls. Um, some people can be faithful. But, y'all, there is one, I personally believe, person, man, the king of kings, the lord of lords, who's faithful beyond all, okay? And so the scripture that I want to relate to concerning who's faithful is from Psalms chapter 73, and we're going to go to verse 23. Excuse me, not 23, y'all. Actually, it's verse 26. Okay, so I want Unique to share that verse, and um, it's verse 26. And from there, we're going to just, just we're just going to talk about who's faithful, who's faithful, and why he's faithful. We know who's faithful. You ready? Yes. It says, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Did y'all hear that? My what, Neek, shall fail? My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion yes. forever. Y'all y'all may hear my little boom boom in the background. My grandbaby. You may get to see him today. Right, Aeon? But um Unique just she just spoke on something powerful. What you think that means, Unique? Break that down for us. That this earthly body may fail you, but your soul with God may never fail. Your, relationship. Yes, your spirit, your spirit, our spirit. Our spirit is going to live forever, y'all, number one. And our relationship with the Lord is so important. And with having a relationship with God, we, I don't know about you, but I know I realize that he is faithful through me seeking him. Even when I don't want to seek him, y'all, he's constantly tugging on my heart. You know, he, he woke us up this morning, literally. You know, he allowed us to see a new year. He's faithful. Why is he faithful to you, Yuni? Um, God is faithful to me because, you know, just life in general. But um, my baby, I had my baby last year. Mm -hmm. It's the new year. And, um, he's just perfect, like. And in the beginning, like, I didn't really, you know, understand what people say, like, babies change your life and their blessings, but they really are. Mm -hmm. And when I was the, when I was carrying my baby, they told me that um, he would have a defect on his heart and that he had some issues. So, you know, initially I was, you know, sad, you know worried stressed out about it but he's a perfectly healthy baby he has no problems he's a bright light so god is always faithful and his name is aeon and it means god is gracious so i think he is the definition of god's faithfulness good god almighty that's pro did y'all just hear that his name aeon means what God is, gracious. God is gracious. Did y'all hear that? God is gracious. And see, uh, one part of the testimony, because I'm close to this beautiful 
young lady, this woman, this queen in front of me, I remember the day she called me and she said, mommy, the doctor said such and such and such and such and such and such. And I said, oh, really? I said, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing else to nobody. This, this conversation doesn't leave this phone call. And I said, we're going to pray. I'm going to put Aeon's name on a prayer wall in my prayer closet. And when you go back to the doctor, it, it's not going to say what the report of the doctor said. And so, y'all, when Unique went back to the doctor, what happened? They said that... Um... They didn't see anything wrong with his heart. They did a full, like, check and ultrasound. And he was perfectly fine. And I want y'all to see this, this handsome little one we have right here. Aeon. Aeon, say hi to everybody. Hey, hey, he, he looking over there at that painting on the wall. This is, this is our precious Aeon, y'all. This is precious Aeon. God is gracious. The enemy tried to tried to put in our mind. He tried to put doubt in our mind and make us think that something was going to be wrong with him. But guess what? We took our authority. We took our authority through Christ. And I went to the Father and I began to pray. I wrote his name on paper. I had already given it to the Lord, but I wrote his name on paper. I stuck it on the wall in my prayer closet. And I declared and decreed and prayed over it that Aeon would not have any defects, effects, period. And look at God. And so just to hear her share that story right now and to see the evidence of this handsome little jewel we have in our life. Y'all, I don't, I can't explain to y'all what it feels to, to be a grandparent, number one. To hold them, to be in love with them. It's, it's such a beautiful experience. I'm a, I'm a mother that loves my children. All four. Love them. I remember when they used to go to school from every year when they would start. They, my first three, the, the stair steppers, they was kindergarten, the other one, first grade, and, and the other one, preschool or, or, or daycare. And I remember y'all crying. I remember crying. I was upset because they had to go to school. I, I, a mother that's totally emotional and in tune to what God blessed me with. And now God has given me Aeon, a grandson, right? A grandson and to see him healthy and whole, to see what the devil was going to try to say he was going to have. But we counteracted with our faith. He could, because who is faithful? The Lord is faithful. We counteracted with our faith. We prayed, we gave it to the Lord. And guess what he did? In return, he showed up and showed out because of our faith. God, he needs something for us. He need to, He needs something, y'all, from us in order for things to work, right? Now, he could just do anything just like that, right? But he needs our faith, faith of a mustard seed. He needs for us to trust him. He needs us to walk in, in, in boldness. Look, I, it, Holy Spirit is in the room right now. He needs us to trust that he's going to work it out. He And he worked it out. And this is the, the evidence of God is gracious. God was gracious to Aeon, right? So I just want to encourage y'all to let y'all know how faithful he is. So when you think about who's faithful, if someone's not being faithful to you, if someone's not being committed to you, if, if, if your marriage is failing, if, if life is failing, if, if the job is failing you, guess who you can truly trust in? Guess who you really should trust in? The Almighty One. The one who's shining his bright sun through this, this room right now. Right? Our faithful one. Okay, y'all. Unique. Um, in times in your life, have you been confused or depressed? Yes. So, 
what did you what what did you run to during those times? You know, keep it real. Um, it could be many different things, but in those times, we run to the worldly things because your flesh. Um, sometimes, if you're not if you don't have a strong bond with God, like season, you know, people like you, you can run to the worldly things and it can cause a lot of confusion in your life. So, um, naturally I ran to, um, the worldly things out of, um, lack of knowledge. But the older I got, the more I experienced, the more I went through life, um, I started to draw closer to something bigger than me because I'm only one person and um, God knows best. Mm -hmm. Always. Amen. So, Amen. I just learned to um, try to go to God about it. And I do have days where sometimes I forget, not because I'm human. But sometimes I forget that I have God to run to. And um, I had to catch myself and say, oh, wow, I didn't, I didn't even talk to God about this. Or I didn't pray to God about this. But I talked to so many other people about it. Mm -hmm. Instead of talking to the person who answers, you know, the questions that I have or the needs that I want. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because sometimes, like, I'll catch myself not praying, not, you know, doing what I need to. And when I do sit down and I, you know, pray and I ask, you know, for certain things, um, how quick God moves, like how mm -hmm. quick he does those things that I've asked for. And it's like, wow, like all I had to do was open my mouth and ask. But, yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay. Now, so could you be specific and tell, tell, tell the viewers one specific thing that you may have ran to that you realized didn't help you um personally the thing that i ran to would just be like for me it's not necessarily like a certain thing like you could run it you could you know run to people a man you could run to smoking weed you could run to drinking, you could run to doing whatever. Mm -hmm. But I think it all boils down to um just finding things to do to numb whatever mm. you're feeling or whatever you haven't talked to God about. Mm -hmm. Because we all run to different things, but mm -hmm. ultimately we have to, I feel like we have to know that it's, it's something under those things. It's not just what you see, it's what you do what you're doing because of those things okay now uh you know how like nowadays y'all a lot of people uh run the crystals they, they, they there's different methods you know some people they're taking and they're they're praying to certain things they feel like a crystal if they keep it in their purse it'll keep them calm and do, do you agree with any of those things that uh, our generation the generation today is doing certain things like that um well, from personal experience, because I like to speak on, you know, actual things that I've done. And yeah. I've done That's having right. crystals. I've had all those things. And personally, like, in real life, it was something that was a trend. Mm -hmm. It was something that um, people were doing because it was cool or it was you trying to find yourself mm -hmm. or things like that and personally i don't judge um use of crystals mm -hmm. or you know things of that nature simply because um we all have a process of finding our paths yeah and i believe religion um crystals which is symbolism mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily um religious but it's symbolic mm -hmm. and i feel like all religions have symbolic um things just like anointing oil or 
you know, your Bible. Other people have the Quran, the Torah, you know, different things like that. But I try not to focus on those things because we all trying to find ourselves sometimes. And some people don't understand what power certain things have. Yes. Because the history behind crystals even in the bible i was told i haven't i can't even say that i know for sure because i haven't sat there and read the whole bible myself but i was told that like they used those things you know way back in the days because those grew, they grew in the earth but not everything on the earth is meant to be used to be abused or to be you know used for certain things and I think it's about intention as well. It's yes. like what you have your intentions. Your intentions for that thing. Yes. Because you can easily turn something good bad just by your thought process or how you think mm -hmm. or what's on your heart or who you truly are. Yeah. So So it is. you can wear crystals. It's, we all have crystals. We have diamonds. Diamonds are a form of a crystal. It's just about Worshiping. what things you attach to that if you worship them or you mm -hmm. use them to do certain things. Yes. I pers and then let me say, I personally had those things and I shied away from it because I I felt no personal connection to it. Like with God, when you pray, when you um, listen to gospel music, it's a feeling, it's a connection. And from doing crystals or doing things of that nature, I never felt that that pull. Like okay, I know God, God is here, or I know this person is speaking to me. I don't know. It could be anything. Mm -hmm. So that's why I shied away from it because I had no connection to it. Mm -hmm. So it was no point of me dibbling and dabbling in things that, you know, have no purpose. Yeah, there's a scripture that I'm reminded of right now is um, in Hosea. And it talks about people perish for a lack of knowledge. And just one thing you stated, you said you hadn't read the whole Bible, nor have I read the whole Bible. Um, and yes, I thank God that I, I do know certain things through studying, but even a seasoned queen, a seasoned king can fall. You know, I, I have worshiped things that I shouldn't have worshiped. I, I sin, you know, we, you're, don't feel like mommy's better than neat, neat no i'm every day growing closer and closer to god and i find myself doing things i'm like heck i i should be over this by now and god is like well hey baby you live in you live in this flesh and your flesh gonna fail daily but the only way you're gonna stay close to me kawana is by pursuing me right. by being vulnerable to me by being transparent realizing that you're nothing without god that's the key. God wants us to stay humble. Right. Us being humble, letting go of the arrogantness, let, thinking that we can, quote, do everything ourselves, and realizing where our help comes from is the key for our life, y'all. Okay? And I just want to thank you for being so transparent about some of the things that you've experienced. I try my best. Um, you know, for me, my some of the things that I experienced personally was a man i i idolized wanting um a relationship with a man and i put him in a, a man in a place where a man didn't belong you know what i'm saying and i've learned over the years through trials and tribulations that no one comes before my daddy you know what I'm saying? The first thing when I wake up in the morning is not get on the phone calling no dude. You know, not, uh-uh. My first thing when I get up in the morning is, Daddy, I thank you for waking me up. Um, remembering those dreams that I've had and canceling and praying and seeking God and praying over my children, praying over my family. So, so another thing that I, I looked to or went for comfort and was food y'all i love to eat i love to cook and going through certain situations dealing with depression and dealing with things i run to some cookies i run to some chocolate i was just last night when my my special aeon was over last night i i said man or oh, this morning i actually said aeon you you the best chocolate ever i won't gain no weight with your chocolate i can i can enjoy your chocolate all the day yes 
I can enjoy the chocolate. Yes, you special chocolate. This is my special chocolate, y'all. And even, even with Aeon, I cannot put Aeon before God. Now, God wants me to be a steward and, and, and be here to help my daughter raise him properly and, and, and share the word and love on them and encourage him and give him the best. And when I leave this earth, leave a legacy for him. That, that's what he wants. So I'm excited. Um, that we had this lesson today, this, this talk. I, I want to end y'all with sharing the rest of this verse um, from uh, Psalms chapter 73. Ooh, that sun is beaming. Uh, Psalms chapter 73. Uh, and it says, when my heart was grieved. I'm going to start from verse 21 and go down to 28. When my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered. So that that was a person... This this psalmist, he he was grieved, y'all. He was going through some things. And in life, when you when when you when you go through things in life, you're gonna feel grieved. He said his heart was embittered. Verse 22 says, I was senseless and arrogant. He was honest and saying, Look, I ain't had no common sense, and I was arrogant, thinking I could do all things on my own. It goes on to say, I was I was a brute beast before you. He was saying, look, God, I was a brutal beast. I, I was caught up in me. I was doing my own thing. The next verse, it says 23, yet I am always with you. He's saying, look, whether you make your bed in heaven or hell, guess what? God going to be with you. It says, I am always with you and you uphold me by your right hand. Do y'all know that God will uphold you by his right hand? He will take care of you, but you got to acknowledge him. Verse 24 says, you guide me with your counsel and afterward, you will take me into glory. One day, y'all, God is going to take us into his glory. Y'all see that sun beaming through? One day he is going to take us into his glory. Verse 25 says, whom have I in heaven but you? Look, one day you're going to say you have nobody but the Lord in heaven, but him. He, he got you. It goes on to say, and earth has nothing I desire besides you. You will realize one day that earth, it has a lot of stuff going on. But at the end of the day, when you land in that bed, that your true desire, that your true peace comes from the Lord. Okay, it goes on to say, verse 26, that my daughter read earlier, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is my strength of my heart and my portion forever. That's my prayer for all of us today. Verse 27 says, those who are far from you will perish. Those of us, any of us, if we choose to walk away from the Lord, look, our portion will be perishing. So I encourage you to seek the Lord. And it says, you destroy all who are unfaithful to you. That's what the words say, y'all. It goes on to say in verse 28, but as for me, look, I'm, I'm saying it, as for me and my house, huh? Me and my seed, it says, as for me, it is good to be near God, okay? I have made the sovereign Lord who made him what, y'all? Refuge. You let the Lord be your refuge. And I will tell of your good deeds. I will tell of your deeds. Look, when you make the Lord your refuge and when you make him everything in your life, I promise you, you will tell of the good deeds. Look what my daughter did. She told of the good deeds of what God did while Aeon was in her womb. And she was afraid not understanding, not knowing what to do. And God came and showed up and showed out and she shared her story today. The Bible, um, there's a scripture in Revelation that says, we are overcome by the blood of the lamb and the words of our testimony. And look, I just want y'all to be encouraged today through my daughter's testimony. Can I say something? Yeah. So what you were saying about just all that you was reading it reminded me of this quote i was reading in um, one of td jake's books uh -huh. it says even in the moments of your greatest anguish which is your pain you often find blessings alongside and commingle with your losses mm. so even in the moment of your greatest pain and how 
bad something hurts you or this didn't work out or this job didn't come through god is always going to show you and keep you grounded because he's going to show you that even in the midst of all that he's going to show you i can bless you in the midst of this pain and it's a beautiful feeling when god can bless you through your trials and your tribulations and it keeps you focused and it keeps you on a a path of okay no matter what it just happened or what's going on it's always something good going to come out of each situation so i wanted to say that because it's the new year it's 2023 so i feel like people need to hear that when it comes to how they go about their year like it may look like a bad year but watch how god bless you even in those times even during the anguish even during the pain it's all working out for your good y'all it's all working out for you good and we thank you for coming cutting on and pushing that button and turning on the video today and uh just checking us out at the queen's table huh intimate conversations at the queen's table look for more this is the first episode look we're, we're coming back with some good conversations okay with different guests but look, I'm, I want to thank you for stopping by. And I just pray that all, everyone have an awesome year. Unique, I want you to end with prayer. Just a little quick prayer for, for the young ladies, the queens and the kings out here on this earth. How about I say something for the young ladies and you in a little bit? Go ahead. You, well, you just said something, but go on and you want to say something else. You said for the young ladies. Though. Okay. If I, could have, if I could say one thing to the young ladies for 2023. Mm-hmm. And my nana just told me this. Never let anyone dim your light. And it's okay to take back your power at any time and say, okay, I deserve better. And it doesn't matter if it's a person, a job, a situation, a house, an apartment. If you feel like this is holding you holding you back or this this person is no no good for your future let them go tj said that too mm -hmm. let them go it's okay to let people go it's okay to make mistakes and learn from them and grow for them so, amen 2023 will be the year of we learned last year now we moving on the action of the mistakes the pain the the sadness even the happy times we, we learning we doing better you know better you do better so hey and so lord life. we just want to thank you father for this opportunity lord god um, for queen's table podcast intimate conversations we know that you are the faithful one thank you lord thank you for showing my daughter how faithful you are. Thank you for showing me over the years how faithful you are. Thank you for showing Aeon. Thank you for showing the women, the kings and queens that may watch this video how faithful you are and how faithful you will be this year in 2023 in their life. God, I pray that you bless them, that you open their eyes, Lord God, that they would elevate, Lord God, that they would dream big, God, and that they would move, move forward in action. That they would walk in faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, you guys. Well, y'all have a blessed one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you all. And I see you on the next episode.